entire five. Entire five. Not ten, five. 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 So this is going to be five tools that you love for the kitchen, and we know you're a home economist, so this is your, the, the kitchen is your home. Yes, it is. Yes, we it is. We want to know what helps you out. What okay. would you recommend well, for us? These are a few of my favorite things. Okay, so first of all, I've got a whole ton of whisks, Yeah. but you need... This is actually one of the few things that bigger is not better. Oh, okay. Uh, because you need the little whisks, because I do a lot of homemade cocoa. And oh. so this little tiny whisk, or this one, will fit into a mug, and I make it with cocoa powder, a little bit of honey, or whatever, yeah. and add the milk. And so the little whisk is good, because you can't get the big ones in there. Smart. So little tiny whisks, okay? okay. So that's wonderful. The next one is a really good knife, okay? Mm -hmm. You need... You need this. Ah, you need a really yes. good knife. Now, I love this knife so much that even when my nephew came over, I think I've showed this before, he melted it yeah. on the stove. I would never throw this away. No. And people, like, they throw things. It was like, what? No. Like, this was, like, like a lot of money. And yeah. so, and the other thing is that um, you've got to keep it sharpened all the time. And it, they get wrecked in your drawer. So I have this really neat little guard here that, I, that you can put it in. And it's also good when I travel to the show so oh, that I, I keep it in my smart. little guard so that I'm not going to get it done. And also, I won't kill anybody. And you know, like, say you took this on the streetcar. Yeah. See, this would be dangerous. It would be bad. Like, you know, if a cop came, it'd be like, that's a weapon. Right. And then it's like, no, it's in his travel case. I'm a cook. <laughs> so there you go. So don't throw it in a drawer unless no. you have a cover for it. Yeah, or a special block or something. So right. you want to make sure that you're you're protecting it. I yeah. mean, it's an investment. They, an investment. they can cost a lot, a lot of this money. This costs a ton of money. And take it for a test drive. Okay. Like, don't go to somebody's house and just go, oh, I like your knife. No. You know, you need to practice with it because Absolutely. it's a weight thing. You know? Yeah, it like, is. It's got to feel good yeah, in yeah. the hands. Would you put good. that down? Yeah. Okay. okay, what have we got next? All right, well, uh, the next one is my microplane. Mm -hmm. And um, I love the story about this. Uh, uh, this woman was making something in her kitchen, and she said, can I use your, your rasp to her husband? It's like a, a, a machine that you'd use for wood. And she, yeah. He goes, yeah. So And, and then this happened. So you see, it took a woman. Smart. Uh, and and you get you know zest from citrus, which is really good for you. Mm -hmm. um, and you just do like that, or you can do chocolate or Parmigiano Reggiano yeah. or whatever. It's a wonderful way to add flavor without adding calories or sodium. And right. because I don't use a lot of salt, I like to add flavor. Yeah, it gives okay. you a big punch. Big punch of flavor. All is right. Is this your next one? This is my mandolin. next one. This is my mandolin. It makes everything look good. It's so pretty, and, and it you takes know, your nails off. It does. Okay, so you're so supposed be careful. to wear. You're supposed to use this guard, mm -hmm. and and you know what? I have a harder time using the guard. But yeah. anyway, so there you go. Okay, slices, dices, it does everything. <laughs> My absolute favorite one, <laughs> number five, is my Vitamix. Okay, now mm -hmm. this is this is not my Vitamix. That's my Vitamix. Can you see a picture of my Vitamix? How old is your Vitamix? This is ten years old, and actually, it's lasted longer than two of my marriages were seven years each. So Ooh. there you go. Not it's, bad. it's a genius machine. It's it reliable. is so wonderful. Uh, I get a little bit passionate. We're gonna make a green drink because everybody's into green drinks. Everyone is, and everyone is into Vitamixes. I can't tell you how many times people have said that their Vitamix is their favorite thing. It I want to know what's so special about it. Like, what makes it different than a juicer, A juicer. Say? Okay, so it pulverizes things. And you see, Mother Nature has fiber and the, the liquid. Okay. And when you take it apart, it's not as powerful as it when it was together. Okay. And this way, I'm not removing the fiber and throwing it in my composter. Which is what a juicer does. That's what a juicer does. So this okay. is a much healthier way. So my version of the drink is celery, spinach, arugula. You could put whatever. A yeah. big hunk of ginger. That's huge. Some le Yeah, and wait do you see? A lime. And then I'm just going to cut this up a little bit. My, my, my cucumber, just a teeny bit. And you leave the skin on yes. the uh, lime and everything, huh? Everything. Because okay. that zest. And the ginger. Remember when I talked about the zest? That zest is really important. Okay. Apple, but uh, never put the corn it has arsenic unless you want to kill somebody really and then uh yeah and then I some no ice idea. cubes and then okay. we're going to put some natural apple juice in and then pop now you can put water in if you want and That's you can get the recipe good. on your site and i think this is a good green drink for you know rookie people that are going into that would be my okay, green so drink power so we're going to put this on and then it has this oh, oh you didn't even need it <laughs> so what that thing oh boy you need it okay so you don't even need this plunger thing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can. It's actually okay. not that loud. No, no it's actually not that loud. It could be a lot worse. What happens is that you purified it, you liquefied it. Right. And so now this is skinny. It's not like if you made it in a like a blender that would be like soup. So you've got this sort of lovely, and everything's in there. The the oh, fiber. Oh, it's good. It's even a little good? bit sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what's so good about it. You throw stuff in. 
It and blends you, it up right away. The fiber stays this, there. The fiber stays in. You can do soups. Soups. My pureed soups are like velvet. People go, how did you do that? I go, it's my this, Vitamix. This is what did it. That's what okay, did well, it. you think you love your Vitamix yeah. and uh, your 10-year-old guy right there. Mm -hmm. Come on in here, Le Leanne. Okay, <laughs> Leanne like, has a Vitamix as well. <laughs> How it old is, my is baby. your Vitamix? This one's almost 20 years old. Get out of town! Double kidding. the age. Almost, yes. And still working? I, oh my gosh, like a charm. We use it, I mean, no joke. No, Marilyn, no. Marilyn and I, I were use talking. Mine every day. Every yeah. single day. Really? Every day. Mm -hmm. I know, you think I'm crazy, but every day. You know what? I can pack so many vegetables yeah. into what we call dino juice at home right. for the kids to drink, and they love it, and they have no idea. That's no idea. Really are you going to try this? Yeah, we're going to try my juice. It's really good. 